Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm going to be explaining Backrooms level 996, or the White Torture. And this level is just plain unsettling to look at, and it feels uncanny and real, but fake at the same time. So if you're into that sort of thing, I think you're going to enjoy this level without any more wasting time. Let's get into the video, shall we? So, Backrooms level 996 is classified as a class 0 difficulty and is literally devoid of most things that are dangerous and is actually devoid of everything because it's so blank. Now, it can be dangerous in some spots, which I'll get into later, but the main danger is you might just go crazy from seeing the same white texture everywhere. The level itself is split into two main areas, the building area where you start, and then the city area, which is after the building area, and I'll go over them both. Additionally, this video is sponsored by World of Warships. World of Warships is a naval shooter game that's free to play on PC. That's right. It's free, and it's really fun too. You can hop onto just about any ship style you can think of, battleships, aircraft carriers, cruisers, destroyers, and you can even dive underwater with a submarine if that's what you're into. On top of picking a cool ship, you can also pick from over 40 different unique maps to play on, and each map has different dynamic environments and weather effects that set them all apart. Additionally, new content like cosmetics and ships are released every month and you can choose to play alone or with friends. And the game is also available on console if you don't have a PC. So to get started, click the first link in the description box below to download the game and use code BRAVO to get an awesome signing bonus. And you can choose any one of the five ships available. Full details are in the first link below, check it out. Thank you, World of Warships, for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel, and let's get back into the video. But before I do that, I want to explain a little bit more about this place. The level is very weird in many ways. The architecture in the buildings is weird, and it hasn't been seen before on any level or in real life, and the gravity of this level is weak compared to other levels too. So theoretically, you could just jump off a roof and you'd be fine. And there are also some random resources that are scattered throughout this level that can be used as well. Now all of that makes this place seem safe, almost like a monochrome paradise. But as I mentioned earlier, there are some dark secrets that might make you rethink that. One of them being that several people have apparently wandered into this level and have never been seen again. Like, they just walked out into the street and disappeared. So that's weird. But some people have also gotten so isolated in this infinite white cityscape that they have turned themselves into insanities from the lack of food and water and the fact that they just feel like they're trapped in a white padded cell, which is kind of what you are in this level. So yeah, it's not fully safe. You just got to be careful. It's also pretty common to hallucinate because there's no noise or anything besides the color white. So your brain's going to start playing tricks on you. Now I'll explain the building in this place. So the building is the first area where you'll be when you get sent here. It's got huge white rooms inside on many, many floors, an unknown amount of floors actually. Some of these rooms have big pillars holding them up, but not all the rooms look the same. In fact, they're all different. Some of them are small and have windows. Some of them are big and empty and so on. There are even small white bathrooms and closet type rooms. And everything is made out of a white shiny concrete type material, which is weird because concrete normally isn't shiny, but whatever. Now, some stories in this building have furniture as well. And guess what? It's made out of the exact same white concrete material that everything else is made out of. If I was here, I would kind of be like Squidward in that one of futuristic SpongeBob episode where he was just curling in the floor. You know what I'm talking about. Another weird thing that happens in the building part is that light comes through the windows in very strange ways. It might be that the light itself has weird properties, but I think it's more of the white coloring of everything making it reflect strangely. So if you're near a window in a room, the light will come through the window and will cast really weird shadows in some spots that make the level have a really high contrast. So there will be 
pitch black spots and extremely bright spots due to the shadows. And some of those shadows could be dangerous because you might fall or something, and it could make the buildings hard to navigate if you're not careful. There are also some rooms filled with almond water completely to the brim, and there are also staircases that lead to nothing, which is also pretty common in the back rooms. So yeah, that was the building, which is what the first huge place you're in is referred to, and now I'll get into the city part. And it has actually been confirmed that the city is all connected to each other, and it makes one giant building by itself. All these city buildings are connected underground through small tunnels and shafts and sewers, and it's almost like just the top portions of the buildings are sticking out of the ground. The sun, or whatever the light source is in the sky, never moves, which causes those shadows I talked about. But sometimes it does rain, which can make the floor slippery and can make you fall or something. Occasionally, inside some of the rooms in the various city buildings, you can find food or water. And just like the level itself, you'll never guess what color the food is. It's white. <laughs> there's yogurt and rice and that sort of thing, but there's also other foods like meat and vegetables that are here too. All of it's safe to eat, we think, and the only difference is that it's all white, which would be extremely unsettling to see a chicken leg white. So this city can be accessed from the building that I mentioned first, and it looks like an oddly white city. It resembles kind of cities from real life, from having the skyscrapers and shops and that type of thing, but as I said, everything is weirdly shaped and it's white. But in the city part, there are different building materials used. Things like rubber and metal and even plastic have been seen here, but yet again, it's all blank and white, just like the first building was. But yeah, these buildings in the city are more like ones from real life than that first one was. But they all seem to serve no real purpose. No one knows why they're real or why something or someone would make it. It kind of just seems like a blank slate that's here, like a blank canvas almost. Some of the buildings in the city have machines and vents and pipes and that kind of thing, but none of it's turned on and they're all shiny white colored as well. It's literally like the city just has not been made yet. It's like an untextured video game, or maybe it's in the process of being made and the powerful entity that started to make it hasn't finished. Who knows? There's been no communities or outposts made here because people have wandered off to never be seen again, so you don't want that to happen, and it might be too dangerous to keep lots of people here. They might all go crazy. And to enter this level, you can be on level negative 69 and then no clip through a piece of white furniture there, or you can jump into a TV that's showing a white screen on level 954 to get here too. Pretty cool entrances. To exit, you can wander deep into that first building area that I talked about, and you'll be sent to level zero, it's thought. Or you can just try to no clip anywhere, although that probably won't work. This level is famously hard to leave, so you're just gonna have to see what works and what doesn't. But if you do come here, be ready to be stuck for a while. So yeah, to summarize, this place is a fully blank backrooms level that's all white and shiny, and it seems like an unfinished canvas building city type thing. To be honest, I would go crazy after a few hours here. What about you? Comment what you think this level is, why you think it exists, and who do you think made it? Because I honestly have no idea, and it seems like no one else does either, so I want to hear y'all's thoughts. Is this a template for a city? Does the backrooms borrow these buildings for other levels? Is it a city that someone started to build and then got bored and never finished? I don't know. Just let me know what y'all think. Thank you for watching the video. If you are still watching, comment monochrome brugly so I can heart your comments. And if you do that, <laughs> you're a real one. What can I say? Thank you so much for the support on the channel and your interaction with the content. I really appreciate all you do. Seriously, thank you so much. Channel's growing so fast. All the channels are growing amazingly. Speaking of all the channels, I have a second and third channel, Toogly and then Spoogly. Toogly is my gaming, streaming, reaction channel. You get tons of me every day of the week over there. Literally, like, it's five days a week I upload. And on Spoogly, you get some extra creepy stuff and some extra conspiracy theory stuff. It's a fun time everywhere. Let's be real. And thank you to World of Warships for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you all for supporting the channel. Don't forget to click the code in the top of the description if you are interested in supporting me and playing a really fun game. It really helps out. Thank you all very much. And if you want more content from me, the Brewster, then you're going to like those channels. Thank you for everything you do. And with all that self-promoting out of the way, I love you. I'll see you all in the next video. No sus, by the way.